Love it. Okay. What's still... Is there another poison thing down there? Oh, there is. Damn. Oh, boy. Everything wants to eat me. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to do some final stuff here at our first factory. And then the plan is to build a road to our new factory location. Um, so I got a lot to show you and a lot to do here. And we do have the to-do list um, set up with some of the stuff anyways. So the first thing I want to do is we have all of the smart plating that we need for the space elevator and um and then some so uh, we need a total of 500 smart plating and let me those are shatter rebar let me um dump a couple of things and we'll get going on that first i've got i got wood wood goes in here Two pieces of wood. And I've got some iron ingots that I must have picked up somewhere from doing some moving stuff around. So we'll throw that those in the sink. And I think everything else we want to hang on to at the moment. You know what? I'm actually gonna throw that copper plating in the sink too. Don't need it right now. Okay, so um let's go up to uh, upstairs here. I'm going to actually do some flying in this episode too, just because, uh, I'm, you know, we're going to be like kind of taking a tour of the base and it's just going to be quicker to do it that way. All right. So we basically need a 500 of these. So that means we need 10 stacks. Um, here, let's just actually take all of those. And we're going to take those over to here. And then control click them in there. And boom, that gives us 500. Okay, so we have met uh, one of the three uh, requirements for us to get to tier 5 and tier 6. The rest of the smart plating is now going to... Uh, it, it's not useful for anything else. You don't use it to make anything. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start feeding the rest of it into the sink here. Um, so let's go back up here. And what I want to do let's just get into fly mode here. Okay, so we have two assemblers making making this at two per minute. So we're basically making four per minute. All right, so I don't think we need this storage container. I think we could we can just feed it directly into the sink. I mean, it's always nice, I guess, to have a buffer, though. Um, it's just that... We'd have to figure out how that's going to work. Definitely want to keep a buffer here because then we can just feed stuff, you know, extra stuff in there as needed. This is just really tight here is all. Okay, let's do this. Let's move let's move the storage bin a little closer, first of all. Or what we could even do is maybe put it at an angle, just so it because this is actually gonna be uh, the way the main road out to the new base. So that's why I really don't want to block this off a whole lot. All right, let's go to storage. I'm going to flip this around here. And if we move it to there and then maybe there, 
That might work. It's too close. Okay, so... Let's just put that one there for a minute, just for a reference. Okay, that's good. Alright, put those smart plating back in there. Now we need to... might do with this is I might do a zigzag. Maybe we'll go three. And I want everything on here to be mark mark two. It just gives us a little more capacity, A, and B, it puts this up a little higher. Alright, now I'm going to just guess one, two, three, four. Let's just take that up four to start with. Why is that door staying open? Huh, that was weird. Must have accidentally turned that off when I didn't mean to. Okay, is that going to... Yes, it is. Okay, so we need, to, we need this to actually go up five. One, two, three, four, five. There. And yeah, I think I'm going to remove the bin and we'll just come out of this merger here. And why don't we also flip it around the other way so the output's on this side. Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> Crap! I uh, I accidentally t took out the other assembler. That was not what I meant to do. Can't take me anywhere, man. I swear. Okay. Um. Let's just put hit this here for a second. Actually, here. Let's um. Just stick all of these in here. They should be flowing down. Did I miss? Did I not connect this right? That's the output coming into the next one. Why aren't those flowing? Oh, that's why. Um, yeah, this one needs to be flipped around the other way. There we go. Um, yeah, now we can see the smart plates coming through. And they should be coming through here, too. Uh, we might have to re- I bet you we have to reattach this. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, by the way, we have currently have nine coupons. There we go. Alright, that fixes that issue. 
let's pick up all of this. And we want to flip this around this way. Correct. Okay. Um, set this to smart plates. Oh, and uh, I did go ahead and use um, ceiling wiring on the on the second floor here, and I, I like it. I mean, it really cleans up the floor, gets the poles out. the The thing I don't like about it is you can't you can't get them perfectly vertical. Um, you know, so that's kind of the trade-off, I suppose. All right, so you're going to need to be reset. And... I... Hmm. Let's redo this belt just in case. It's probably okay, but... I just want to reset it. And then these are going to need to be reset, too, most likely. You there, you there. Okay, good. That's moving. You there, you there, and that's moving. Okay, so we got that back in business. So this is going to conflict with this grommet here, so we better put this back the way that it was sticking out the other side. This is a merger, and we want it coming out there. All right, let's get our belt. Bring it to here. Okay, we know it's on the seam. That's just the normal height, right? This, yeah, it is. Okay, so we're gonna have to raise this up more. Might be right. Yes, it is. Okay. So that means you need to go up even higher. So right now we have three of the little black thingies showing. So I think we need to go to there. That still doesn't look high enough, though. Yeah, I'm sure that's not high enough. Okay. Let's try it again. Let's try that. Okay, so now this part's going to be tricky because um, oh, that doesn't need to be a mark two. Let's just make it a mark one. Not for this. I guess the first question is that the right height? Yes, it is. Okay, but if we want a nice, pretty 90 degree gonna have to um, do this a little bit different so let's grab these make sure we're in zoop mode and we can line up to here are we uh, 
right on that seam. Yeah, we are. Okay. So let's go here, and then we'll go over two. And throw that way the hell up into the air. Alright, take this off. Run this to here. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. I think that's right. Let's go look at it from up here. Yep, it's nice and level. Should do the trick. Okay, so that gets uh, our smart plating now exclusively feeding into the sink. Which is all we need to do with it from here on out. Very good. All right, let's grab all of this. Uh, oh, that's just a. Yeah, right. Okay. Can we fix this? Okay, what's the problem here? We might need to rerun this belt here. No, I don't want a power line. I want a belt. Sure those go through. Yeah, yeah, you guys are only outputting four, per, or no, actually two per minute, so those must have just been stuck in the buffer or something. I want to see the, those come out also. Yeah, there they go. Okay, uh, well, yeah, I think we're good. Pretty sure we are. I'm just gonna watch it just to make sure here. Because after this, um, I'll probably never do anything with this again. It'll run for the whole rest of the playthrough. So I just wanna make sure it's working. Oh, it is, because that one just came out from here. So yep, that proves that it's working, okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, so smart plating is taken care of. Let's uh, do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, we have a full storage bin of Caterium. Or, I'm sorry, not Caterium, uh, quick wire. Right here. So this is completely full. That's just there for us to use for whatever we want to. And actually... Uh, we do need some more of this for research, so let's, yeah, let's grab a few spools of that, and let's go to the MAM, go to Caterium, let's reach, uh, research Caterium Electronics. Stun Rebar. I don't know if I'm interested in stun rebar because everything that we attack we want to kill not because we're cruel bastards but because we want the resources from the critters so I don't really see why what the practical use of that is unless you're just you know want to be more humane which I don't because maybe I am a cruel bastard I don't know anyway let's get our mark two power poles we definitely want those Okay, good. So that's learned. Um, Mark 3 is going to need... Ooh, I guess it's called a high-speed connector, but it looks like a circuit board to me. Um, that's going to need plating and quick wire. For the AI limiters. And that's going to need plastic. So we're not going to be able to do anything more with that until we start getting into oil. But we can do this. We just need 50 copper sheeting. Which we should be able to get out of here. Get 
Deuterium. AI limiter. Start research. Okay, we can't do that yet. We can't do that yet. The smart splitter. The supercomputers. Yeah, this is all stuff that we're not ready to be able to do anything with yet. So that's as far as we can go. And it doesn't look like any of the rest of these take quick wire directly. Uh, if we need quick wire to make them, then we'll, you know, we'll worry about that when we let's just set up the production line. Oh, excuse me. All right. So while we're here, um, hostile organism detection. Yeah, we need uh, we need this the steel beams for this for the hand slot. And I don't. I mean, we might make that at some point, but I don't really f see that as a really important thing for us to do right now. Toxic cellular modification. I guess this either kills or knocks out the baddie bads. Uh, you know what I really need to do, though, is... Yeah, you know, we can't do that yet. Um, we can do this. I just need to make uh, the parachutes. And... We can do this when we do the cloth, but we can't do that. So these two I can do, but I'll probably, I'll, I'll do that off camera. Cause I don't want to spend a lot of time on this right now. I'm just taking a quick look. Those we can't do till we get steel pipes. Oh, you know what? There is quartz. That, uh, that we can definitely do. I just need to make the silicone and that's going to give us inventory slots. Explosive resonance. Okay. This is all more advanced stuff. But sulfur is what we really need to get going on. But, oh, shit, we need plastic to do that. And we need steel piping to do this. This is the main thing that's going to get us give us the Nobilisk. Because the reason I want those is because then we can blow up things like, you know, the poisonous plants and get them out of the way. Um, but not till we're making steel pipes. I mean, I can manually make them, but I can't because unless... Can I smelt steel in here? I can. Steel ingot. Iron and coal. I could do that. Uh, but again, I'm not going to sit here and do that right now. That's something I can do off camera. Okay, so anyway, um, uh, let's see. What's next on the to-do list? Switch the smart wire to the sink. I think what I'll do is let's put this smart wire back in here. Oh, I mean, that's going to fill up in a second. So, yeah, we can actually go do that. Let's throw um, this other smart plating in here. Um, we'll put... I want to keep some of this in our inventory just because we will need it. All right, so this is full again. So let's go take care of that. So basically I just bypassed it here to send it down there. So we will uh, just switch out this lift here, that lift. And now that second uh, smart wire production is going right into here. And we're already up to 13 coupons. It's a beautiful thing. All right. We can cross that off the list. Fixed truck route. That's the next thing on the list. Yeah. So my truck is actually running into this pillar that I set up down here. Um, when that kind of thing happens, what the game will do is it'll actually teleport the truck beyond it so it you know so that way it's not permanently stuck but I'd rather fix it so it's not doing that at all um, so where is it okay it's on its way back um, what oh yeah that's our stone production limestone the um, and the truck has got this depot like almost jam-packed it's like 
yeah, almost completely filled up. So it's definitely having no trouble keeping up with our little mini coal plant here. Uh, speaking of which, we are... Yeah, we're still well within the capacity of this power plant. Okay, so let's go intercept our truck and what we'll do is we'll turn on the nodes and then we'll just adjust the nodes so it goes around this pull. Because, yeah, he's, he's like just running right into this. <laughs> he should be on his way back to us, right? Is he? Oh, I was okay. No, he's he's actually on his way over there. Okay. Well, let's see. What else do we have? We have the tour and the road. That's going to take a little little bit of time. But uh, we'll see if we can catch him. All right. So here's where I'm going to do some flying, just because uh, we'll be able to see things better. I added this miner at full capacity. Uh, 60 per minute on this iron node and we're running its conveyor this way and it's coming down and going through here and then down to this end of the factory and this is feeding that new uh, screw production line that I made for our assemblers. So uh, I, told, I told you guys in a couple episodes, uh, a few episodes ago, that I was going to set this up. So basically what I have are three smelters. Uh, they're all underclocked to 20 per minute. So we have three taking 60 per minute, uh, which is what's coming in uh, from that miner. And then they're outputting uh, 20 ingots per minute into two screw producers that are taking... Uh, I'm sorry, no. Uh, it's a rod producer, right. So it's taking 20 ingots in per minute and it's outputting 20 rods per minute. And then that's being split here. 10 are going into here at 10 per minute to make 40 screws. And the other 10 are going into here to make uh, 10 per minute at 40 screws. And then I have three of those and uh, three of those lines going, as you can see here. At the end, I have... Um, 120 screws coming down each one of these lines uh, and this is a Mark II belt because this, there's 40 on here, 80 on here, 120 on here. So this is all Mark II. That's a Mark II lift and this is a Mark II lift. Okay and then, then what's going on there is that Uh, this assembler is getting its screws from here, uh, from the first uh, the first one. So coming down through here and up through here. And it's feeding 120 screws into here. And what I've done with this is I've underclocked it to take 120 screws. And it's and at that rate, because we're using our alternate copper rotor recipe, it's still producing almost seven rotors per minute, which is still pretty good. Um, and I couldn't get this to 120 exactly, but it's close enough. As far as the copper sheeting goes, um, I think, see, this is taking 13 copper sheeting per minute. And we are producing that. Where are we producing that? Is that what we're doing way over in this corner here? Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, you're doing 10 copper sheeting per minute. And you're doing 10 per minute. So we're producing 20 per minute. Which is not... Wait a second. What are you doing again? Oh yeah, it is enough. Okay. So yeah, we're producing enough copper sheeting to sustain this and have extra left over, which is just going into the surplus bin 
in our storage bins. So that one's good. Um, it's a, not quite the same story with these. So this guy is taking in 120 screws from that other line coming in that I just showed you. Um, and it's making uh, 4.29 modular frames using the bolted, uh, the alternate recipe. But it's also taking in 6.4 reinforced plate per minute, which is coming from this guy, which is only producing 5.6. Um, so it's not quite enough to sustain it, but I'm not worried about that because of the fact that what's going to happen is these three assemblers are feeding their end product into these bins. And once this fills up, then this is going to stop and it's going to allow this then to get caught up on reinforced plates and eventually, you know, fill this up with plates. And I had a bunch of extra to begin with, so we're still ahead of the game at this point. And, um... Oh, and then the other thing is, is that this is taking in uh, 10 plate per minute and 37 wire per minute. I'm only producing, if I recall correctly, 30 copper wire per minute, and I might be okay on this. I might be doing 20 of these per minute. So this is uh, a little bit over too, but it's the same kind of idea. You know, once this uh, fills up, this will stop, and then it'll give the buffer uh, or the storage chance to fill back up. Plus, at present, with our copper wire, um, we have a whole mess of surplus anyways. Those two bins are completely full. In fact, yeah, it's it's still, because um, I'm feeding the copper wire actually from the storage. It's still able to keep up with it at this point. But the idea, you know, behind these assemblers, the, you know, and I mentioned this before, the, these three assemblers are the end product of this factory. Um, and they're not going to be used to feed into any other production lines. They're just, that's what they make. And then we come over here and we grab them when we need them for, you know, for building. Um, and that, that's basically what it is. Uh, and then this end product, of course, is purely for the sink. And at least for now, the, um, uh, the smart wire is also being made strictly for the sink. And all of that can be changed later if, you, if we end up needing it for some, other, some reason. Okay, so yeah, we got that going on, and then uh, on the the first floor here, I decided to to just keep the the wall wiring in in place. One of the reasons I decided to do that is because I got a lot of shit going on, you know, on the ceiling uh, in this area, and I didn't want to have to try and dodge around all these conveyor belts. So we're sticking with wall wiring down here, but um, we're using ceiling wiring as you can see here on the second floor because uh, you know there's not as much roof stuff going on and overall I, I like it I, I do feel like it's cleaner uh, but like I said the thing that I don't like about it is that you know some of the wires are, are are not perfectly vertical but you know there's not much I can do about it it's just the way that it is uh, as far as the outside of the factory, I think in the last episode I had added some extra concrete beams in, but what I didn't realize at the time that I was doing it is that it was blocking some of the windows here. So I took that extra out and decided to keep it keep it simple and go with um, this al alignment with the copper for the trim. Um, actually, no, I was going to... That's right, I, I didn't take this around to this side. So let's actually finish this out real quick. I'm going to cheat a little bit here and just do it in fly mode. When we, you know, when we build stuff legit in quote unquote survival mode, I, I don't fly around and do it. I'm just doing it this time because we're essentially giving it to her. I think, um, I think I showed you guys my, you know, putting the, the pillars in place in the last episode uh, on our little conveyor road here. So that's all looking good. And so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the exterior of our factory. Um, all right. So there's a couple of items that were completely full, filled up on and we're not using for anything else at the moment. 
And so those chains, I'm going to go ahead and just sh turn them off. So I'm not going to disassemble them. I'm just going to turn them off because there's no point in continuing to run them when we don't need them. Uh, so anything that's completely full in the bottom, like this cabling here. You know what, though? Right, we're going to be using a lot more of this. Maybe, maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just leave it as it is and then... You know, as it pulls stuff out, it'll just kick in as it needs to. All right. So, yeah, that's a pretty much it. Now, not all of these machines are running at 100% efficiency. And I haven't, I haven't really gone through to try and figure out exactly why. But part of it is because, you know, they're, they're feeding product into these storage bins. And then when the storage bins fill up, you know, they stop, which is fine. Um, you know, that's kind of what it's supposed to do. But I know I know, I have a few things that are kind of in it, you know, doing some weird stuff. Weird stuff. Uh, especially with these smart, smart plating assemblers over here. Um, you know, there's just been some, some backup. And I, I mean, I could go through through it with a fine tooth comb and try and figure figure out exactly what was wrong like there's been a couple places where I put mark one belts in when I was supposed to put mark two belts in and I think I've I think I've caught all of those and it certainly improved the situation but um, I mean it's not it's not doing too bad but you know occasionally the some of the machines will shut down um, like that one just I think did or one of these did and I think I'm going to be okay with it. I'm not going to worry about it because uh, for one reason, that I, I want to move on, you know, to the next to the next level of, of this. Um, I'm pretty much done with this factory. I'm, I'm happy with the factory. I, I like the way that it came together uh, for sure. But I think we're going to just leave it as it is. It's our, It was our first factory for this playthrough. It's not perfect, but it's not terrible either. At least it's nice and nice and organized. And I think it looks good. Okay, so... That is it for our factory t final factory tour. We will, uh, as mentioned, use this place, you know, for uh, for product, the product that it's producing uh, for building new stuff, as opposed to feeding into other production lines. Where did that truck get off to? Okay, he already has come back and, and gone <laughs> gone back a few times. Um, let's just go ahead and intercept him and get that taken care of because we're going to spend the rest of this episode then working on the start of our road to the new location here he comes it's going to drive right through these hogs here or right past them anyways <laughs> okay. Whoa. So let's get back over to the pillar and then we'll turn the nodes on. Okay, let's disable autopilot for a minute and show the nodes. I think if we Can we actually actually move these E to edit? We can delete it. I don't think we can move it though, or can we move it? It seems to indicate I can pick it up, but when I'm pressing the mouse button, it's not doing anything. Press E to edit this node. All right, if I delete okay if we delete the node can we also delete this node and maybe this one here now I don't know if that's gonna mess him up or not I'm 
but I think what we can do is record a new path and just kind of insert it into the original. But let's get him to here and put autopilot back on. It should just go from that node to the next one. And... <laughs> okay. Well, <coughs> really the only way to fix that, I think, is to... Oh boy, I don't know. Can, can you record a new path in and insert it into an existing? I don't know if you can do that or not. Let's look at something. What if we also deleted this node? So now he's going to aim for this one. From here. It should theoretically get him a little bit further away from the pillar, but I'll just have to observe it and see what it, what happens when he comes back through again. <laughs> it gets so close to it. See, I, I set this path up before I built this pillar. That's why, uh, you know, that's why we have the thing going on. Um... I don't th think... Can we put the... Ooh. Ooh. What if we just do that and we won't use the little flange piece? That still works. Yeah, I like that idea. He should be fine now. Okay, that was a simple solution. I mean, I do kind of like the look of the flanges, but... It's, uh, it's okay. All right. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for us to build a road. Um, let me look at something here real quick. Let's go back to here for a second and go back to sulfur. What did I need to do this? All right. That's the one where I needed to make a hundred steel pipe. Um... How big of a pain in the ass is that going to be? Where are we at? Steel pipe. Steel pipe requires three ingots, so I would need to make 300 steel ingots. So I would need 900 ore, 900 iron, and 900 coal. And then I would have to sit here and do it. Either that. Oh, no. It, it, this is a one-to-one -one ratio. So we only need 300. Yeah. Okay. Either that or what we could do is divert one of our iron lines momentarily and put down a foundry and just make it real quick uh, or oh actually we have another iron that's right we have another iron down there don't we um i cuz i want to i want to make the novelists yeah i guess the other question though is do i have enough sulfur here to make the black powder we need Oh, we've got the coal here already. But uh, the reason I have that there is to make the black powder. Let's look at this again. Well, 
Why am I not seeing black powder? Is that something we have to make in here? Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, so that so one of each makes two thingies of black powder. And for the research, we need fifty. So that wouldn't be too hard to do. We've got plenty of excuse me, plenty of cable. It's just the steel piping that's. Uh, and the re the reason why I kind of want to do this now is because we are going to be bypassing or going by, I should say, a couple of those poisonous plants. It'd be nice to get just get rid of them. Um. So why don't we do this? We're going to just do a temporary setup here. I'm just going to craft one of these. Okay. Let's go production. Mark one minor. Invalid placement. Why is that an invalid placement? Oh, we gotta get rid of the this thingy. This is a pure node. We'll probably be tapping into it later. Uh maybe even sooner rather than later. Okay, um let's go here. Grab this. Put you down there. Power that up, and you're producing at 60 per minute because you're a Mark I miner. All right, now let's just run a conveyor line out to here. Again, this is very temporary, but I want to bring it down near the coal. Put that there for the moment. We want to make sure we don't get in the way of the truck. Um, let's tap into this line here. And uh, what we need to make is an, a, a, a foundry. So I need 10 uh, frames for that. Let me go grab those. Put that there. Power it up. Set it to make steel. Put a storage container right here. Uh, the output's kind of on the on to the side here. It's not in the center. I don't. Th is it lining up to that? I don't think it is. I think it's lining up to something else. So let's just eyeball it. And see if that's good enough. Okay. Yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> Very temporary. All right. You can go in there, and we'll just run you into there. Oh, uh, we can't do that. Even I have some standards here. There. Okay, and this will start making steel for us. Um, and once we have enough steel to make the pipes uh, that we need... Um, I might even let it run to make the 200 steel that we need for our milestone for advanced steel production. I mean, we might as well. I've got so much extra coal in here. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this this build up so we can make the piping. 
Um, is that just something that a constructor makes? Yes. Okay. We might as well automate that too, eh? So I don't have to do it manually. Let's go... Uh, production... Constructor... Uh, we gotta be careful not to screw up our truck, though. Set you to steel pipe. Um, so, yeah, we're going to actually change this. Am I messing you up, buddy? No, uh, he should be good. Need some power here. Good. Okay, so this will actually start making the pipes for us. Uh, because here again, we need it for the milestone and we also need it for the research for the novelisk. I'm going to cut the camera here. I'll bring you guys back uh, when that is ready to go. Our first steel pipe. It's a beautiful thing. All right, guys, I'm back and uh, we have. Uh, this much uh, pipes. We need 200 for the milestone, but I want to do the research first. I don't remember. Do we need 200 for that too, or what was it 100? Better find out in a second. Good. All right. So sulfur. It was only 100. Pure, perfect. Okay. So we have everything we need. I made a bunch of uh, gunpowder. And there we go. All right. That we can't do anything with until we're making making case steel beams. That we can't do because I burned up all my sulfur making gunpowder. Okay, so we want to make the Nobilis detonator, which requires an object scanner and 10 steel beams. Well, now we need to make steel beams. Let's go switch this operation over to steel beams. Hopefully it doesn't need anything more than just steel. Woohoo! Yep. Okay. So now we'll make steel beams. Uh, we'll grab the rest of this and let's go uh, get this advanced steel production milestone taken care of because I should have everything else that that's requiring. Um, okay, so steel beams, wire, concrete, rotors. So we need 110 more rotors and a few hundred more copper wire. Let's see, copper is here. Let's just go. I want a few more of those to take with us too. We'll take care of the copper wire and the rotors are upstairs. Um, I think the rotors are at the top. Yes, they are. Grab. Let's actually grab three of those so we have a few to keep with us. Over here. Uh, no, copper wire. Milestone reached. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container, enhanced conveyor belt efficiency, nice. as well as the ability to store excess power for later use. An additional project part can now be constructed. Further progress to the next phase is now possible. All right, nice. Uh, so now we can make stators, motors, automated wiring, uh, which is one of the other things we need for the, um, whose was it? 
space uh, space elevator. Uh, in case of dorsal beams, we got the Mark II Miner, which is 120 resources and the heavy modular frame. I think the next thing we want to work on is we could do power storage hyper tubes. We're going to want to do fairly soon. I'd like to I'd like to get Mark III logistics and obviously we want to do blueprints too. So. Um, but I think for the next thing, let's go ahead and just do expanded power structure next. Uh, since we're already making some of the beams for it anyway. Well, we're making, currently we're making the beams for the Nobilis. Okay, so we need to make this object scanner doohickey. Let's make one of those. And then we can make the Noblis detonator. Ah, beautiful. And now let's make 21 Noblis. And we can blow shit up. It's a beautiful thing. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, rest of the gunpowder in here. We ended up with some extra steel, which I think I'm just going to throw into here. And, uh... Did I... I thought I saw a little bit of ore in my inventory too, but maybe not. Okay, how are we doing? We're up to 16 coupons. Beautiful. Let's take a quick look in the store here. Um, architecture. Equipment parts. No, we don't want it. We don't want to do any of that stuff. We could get the factory cart or the or the boom box. Um, oh, actually, no, yeah, I want to want to do this. Uh, did we... Oh, we've already done asphalt. Okay, perfect. Uh, because I want that for our concrete walls, steel wall material. Yeah, I, I, I think we're going to build our new factory with some of these instead of the you know, just the normal thing. Uh, we want definitely want that stuff eventually. So let's go with, what does that look like? Steel wall, that's five. Grip metal. Let's go with these two foundations here. So, oh, I guess I have to, whoops. That's right, I have to actually get the tickets. Um, print coupon. And I think I might have one or two left over in here, too. Uh, three, actually. Look at that. All right, let's go here. Uh, we want this add to cart. We want to add this to cart. Um, concrete walls. Or steel walls. Let's go concrete walls. We'll eventually do, the, uh, do all of them, but... Okay, so we're up to 11, but we have 19 tickets. Um, frame pillars and structural beams are going to look cool. Metal pillars, walkways, stairs, factory ladders. Like the ramp walls. Um... This one and this one would be nine, which is all we have left. Foundations. Half foundation set. Oh, that's useful. Hmm. We should... 
yeah, we could do the Mark II. Allows more connections. Um, I th think we should do these because we're going to, the very first project we're going to do once we get the road built over there is to make a big coal plant. So this stuff could come in handy. Um, so add that to cart. Add that to cart. Clean pipeline. No indicator. Sure, why the hell not? Add that to the cart. And we have enough to also do this. Let's see. Total is 19. Look at that. Huzzah! We got all of it. And that used up all of our coupons. Okay. But we have more coming. Cool. Alright, so, um, we are... What are we doing? We're... Infrastructure. Oh, we have to wait for the pod to return. Okay, I'll take care of that later. Uh, we need to get started on the road because we're going long here, as usual. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to let that build up some beams for us, and then I'll probably switch it back to pipes for now. Okay, so here's the deal, yo. We, um, we want to make sure we have plenty of concrete in our inventory. Um, let's add a few more of these, and we also want to make sure we have plenty of steel plating, which I think's in here. Yeah, so let's grab a few more stacks of those. That should be good. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to come out here, I think, Three foundations. And let's um let's go to materials and let's go to asphalt. Oh that takes concrete. Interesting. Okay. Um now I have to look that direction, I think. That's right. I kind of mapped this out earlier, but... Yeah. Okay. So... I th Can we just go to Foundations and... Just choose Asphalt, or what if we do it this way? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's not even... That's not even using metal plating at all. Nice. Alright. And looking at this, though, I think... Yeah, I think we need to go over one more. Okay. So these trees will have to go. Um, plus, I will... I will put supports on the road, too. Just because I don't like stuff floating. We've already had that conversation. And we'll... We'll do rails... Uh, too, just because, um... You know, w at least while it's up in the air. Okay, we need to go this way a little f further. Um, but what we want to do is we want to kind of aim... Right through here. Thinking, um, it's probably more like this, or even let's take that back down. Alright, this might be correct. Because I do want to kind of aim for that little hill, you know, that my, my cursor's pointing at. I think this is right. If it isn't, you know, well, I'll have to fix it later. But I think it's right. 
We might actually need to be over one more tile. Yeah, um, we need to be over one more tile. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is just start switching over here and then I'll, I'll fix this later. Okay, we're going to go about to there. So pretty over here. I don't think I've actually been over here on camera with you guys. I've been over here, you know, just kind of scouting around. But yeah, this is, um, once we get past that kind of sandbar there, that whole area out there is going to be our next big factory. We're going to build out over the water and have tons of room. It's going to be awesome. All right, let's jump off right here. Because I think starting right about here, we're, oh, hi bird. We're going to start going down. Um, so we want two meter double ramp. That's yeah, that, that's okay. I don't mind it being that gradual. It'll just mean the Vehicles won't have such a steep climb, you know. All right, and then we want uh, yeah, all of you to be asphalt. Okay, so we still need to uh, uh, we still need to clear that area there. So let's go back to um, the flat pieces and see if I did that correctly. If we have enough clearance. All right, so for now, um, organization. Let's just put a tower down that we can use to climb up there. It's up here, I think, where we're going to run into the nasty poison plants. That was just about right. up here there's a slug over that way it's these poison thingies over here that I want to destroy um okay so here we're at the water now So let's go ahead and go back to this and we want to bring it down to uh, asphalt. If we do one more of these. It's just going to put us a little bit in the water. Whoops. No, 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 no. Don't want to do that. That's fine, though, actually. I think that works. Actually, I like that. I think that's exactly what I want to do. Okay, let's grab one of these.
Okay, so... Um... I think... This will become... the north side of our main factory floor. Um, those thingies there, in fact, that whole thingy there can be blown up um, with our novelists. How did you not... How's that thing still up? There it goes. Oh shit. Did we get it? Yeah, we did. Nice. So there's something inside of here, and it could be a higher level slug. Um, we're going to have to deal with this guy. It's kind of derpity derpin. Got him. Okay, let's blow this up. Oh. Um. Can I pick that back up? Hmm. Apparently not. Okay. Need to give it a little more oomph there. Oh, this is just a stupid Mercer sphere. Ah, that was a waste. Don't give a shit about that. I mean, it, it will matter. You know, once they come out with 1-0, but they haven't come out with 1-0 yet. Uh, let's trash the, this and this. And I need more sulfur, so we might as well grab it. I thought I kind of heard the Mercer sphere sound, so I should have known that's what it was, but... Oh, well. Okay, let's blow up this poison thingy here. Now you can also you can also make a, like a gas mask at some point, which we're probably not too terribly far out from to deal with these two. But let's just get as close as we can, and then ha <laughs> ha sucker! Whoa, that made a bunch of dust. And you were guarding a blue slug. Oh, shit, shit. We got more poison over there. Love it. Okay. What's still... Is there another poison thing down there? Oh, there is. Damn. Oh, boy. Everything wants to eat me. Come here, you little bastard. Oh, there's one right there. Man, these things are all over the place. more guys from that side.
Okay, let's uh let's go back over here and get rid of this other poison thingy. Good. Okay, so that takes care of all those bastards. That's Katerium. Um we're gonna wrap up the episode here. Woohoo! And so, yeah, basically from here, almost all the way to the shore, as far to the south as we can go, as far to the west as we can go, um, we're going to just make an enormous platform. And that's where we're going to start building our next big factory or factories on. Looking forward to it. Should be a lot of fun. What I'll probably actually do is I'll probably start laying this out. I'm not necessarily going to lay out the entire floor all at once because... Yeah, that's going to take a while, and it's going to take a lot of resources. Uh, but we'll get enough uh, of it going to where when we start the next episode, I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up our first coal power plant. And my thought for that is to basically have the power plant be in this area here. And, you know, build it in such a way that we can... Uh, let's go get that yellow slug. Uh, build it in such a way that we can, you know, expand it as we need to. So that is the plan. These bastards are all over the place. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go blow up these uh, poison mound thingies. Go get that yellow slug. And. Um, there's a blue slug. No, slug. Slug. We can also blow these things up, too. Um, because they, they do something nasty to us. I don't remember. But, oh, we got another big boy over there, too. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll worry about that later, actually. We don't have to do that right now. So, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to co come along here and we'll... Do we have the um, uh, Do we have the decals yet? Oh, did I not buy those yet? I don't think I did. You know, to make the road stripes. Okay, we'll have to do that too. But um, and then the other thing I'll do is I'll come along and I'll make uh, supports for the road. So, yeah, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And by the way, there's a big, nice oil node over there. So when the time comes for oil, there's a couple of them around here. Uh, we can do that, too. All right. See you guys. Bye-bye.